Alright, hello again and welcome to yet another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about installing an admin plugin for uh, Gary's Mod. This is the A Simple Server Modification Plugin, uh, ASMOD for short. And we're going to be installing that on a stock Gary's Mod server today just to uh, get it all set up. Now I'll include a link in the description for the uh, forum post on Facepunch where you can get this excellent add-on to use on your server and um, I've already downloaded it for this tutorial and I have the zip file here as well but I've already extracted it to a folder if we take a look inside the folder we have again the asmod stuff, the lua files, materials, the info and the readme file for it and what we want to do is take this this directory and upload it to the server into the add-ons directory so we have um, FTP set up from last time and this is the add-ons directory on the current Gary's Mod server. I'll go back up so you can see what yours might look like. Add-ons, bin, cache, config, all these different files. So we want to upload this folder into the add-ons. So we're inside add-ons. We have this folder. Right click, upload, and away it goes and once these files are all uploaded I'll have to restart the server which will take a little bit longer and get it set up this is one more thing we have to do is add the steam ID into it as well okay so that's done uploading And let's go ahead and restart the server. We'll just send it an exit command. All right, and we'll wait for that to come back up. All right, so we're back now and we need to get back into the FTP and here's where we're going to download a certain file and work on it. Alright, so the servers come back up. We have one more thing we need to do with files for the server before we can be completely all set to go on here. And I'm going to just create a new new text documents fine in here. I'm going to call it ass under bar rankings mm. txt now this file if you use the in-game menus to create your admins it'll automatically make this this file and put it in the right server directory but in this case we don't have anything to work with right away so I'm gonna have to just make this file by by hand for now um, so the first part of it is out in parentheses and we open a curly bracket there close that set and we want to do the first admin so we put a number one tab over again close all the curly brackets make the name for the admin the ID which in this case And you can look at the other video tutorials as well to get how to get your Steam ID and how to set up the FTP. All of those things are uh, handled in the, the rest of the videos we have. And the rank for the admin, in this case we want rank 0. 0 is actually the most powerful. That will give root access. I'm going to save that file. And now we can refresh that directory and there's the file. We'll go into the data folder on the Gary's Mod server and upload oops pardon me I didn't realize the extension was automatically appended there just rename this so it only has one dot txt there we go okay we'll go ahead and upload this and that's there and we'll reboot the server again I guess that first reboot was a little unnecessary, but um, 
So what should happen here is when I go in game, I should be able to get to the admin menu, have root access, be able to create other admins. I'll show you all the cool stuff you can do in game in this next part of the video after the jump. Okay, so now that we're into the game, we want to get on that server and actually make sure that the admin plugin works. So we'll go to Options, Advanced, and Enable Developer Console first. Click OK, click Apply, click OK. And we want to join that server. I prepared a connect statement to get to that server. It's just connect the server IP, a colon, and then the port number, semicolon, password, tutorials in this case. Submit. Start connecting to that server. It's got to download some of the files for the for the add-on itself. You can see it pulling down all the ass files to work with on the server. And once that's done, we should be in. Okay. And let's go ahead and find a key. In this case, I want to bind the X key on the keyboard. Bind X colon plus ass underbar menu. And with that bind, bind quote x quote quote plus ass underbar menu quote. That should be the button. Yep, okay. So if I hold the x key down, I can get the admin menu there. And I have the full access to the menu. You can see there's a lot of cool things you can do uh, within it. I can't really do too much against myself. When, I'm, when it's just me and the server. However, I can, for instance, let's change the map to flat grass, and we'll set it for change now. And the map changes. And that, now you can hold down the X key and get a menu where you can do all sorts of cool things to your Gary's Mod server. It's a really nice add-in. And um, again, lots of plugins. I downloaded the uh, complete edition of it that has the prop protection and whatnot built in. You can set different options in here for what you want people to be able to do on the server. And that's about it. So uh, enjoy your new admin plugin and thank you for watching.